Hello everybody, welcome back. And today's little exercise is today we're gonna to do the Matthew Walker knot. Yes, I've done it before, but I've never done it with multicolored cord like this or separate colors so that it's easier to follow. So th what I thought to do today was I thought I'd show you how to tie the Matthew Walker knot into a rope. And let me just show you another piece of rope that I've got as well. Here's another rope piece of rope work that I've done it in and this one belongs to my ditty bag and so as you can see here on my ditty bag I've got my eight leads going in I then go to my Matthew Walker knot which is this knot here I don't know if that's how visible that is there you go that's the Matthew Walker knot just at the end there and then from the Matthew Walker knot it goes up onto continuous crowning and then from continuous crowning we then have a Turk's head just to finish it off. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna show you how to tie the Matthew Walker knot using this chunky rope because it's easier to see and also the multicolors, which once again makes it easy to follow, easy to see. Okay, so let me just untie this. I'll see you on the other side and let's get knotting. Right, so here we go. I've got my four strands of rope in front of me and I thought with this particular one, Let's use different colours, it just makes it a little bit easier to see the process on tying the Matthew Walker knot. So the first thing I'm going to do is just lay out the cords in front of me, get them an even length, and then lay them out in front of me on the table like so. Next thing I do is I grab them in my hand like so to form a bunch. And so once I've formed my bunch, the first thing I'm going to do is take the left hand most one, which happens to be the red one here, and form a loop. So basically what I do is I form a loop like so. So as you can see, I've gone down, round, over itself there, and I've formed that loop. And I'm going to hold that there with my thumb at this stage. And now that I've done that, I take the end the working end of my red one I go round the back and bring it up through that loop that I created there now the next color I take is going to be the blue one I always get work from the right hand side to the sorry I always work on the one next to it which in this particular case to the right of the red one is the blue one there and I do exactly the same for the blue one I form a loop like so and then I bring it all the way around and then what I'm doing this time is I am going up through the red loop and the blue loop so what I'll do is I will go up through the red and the blue slightly fiddly with this chunkier rope but never mind and there we go I've now got my second color has come through and what I've done is I've kept the red one at the top and the blue one underneath that. The next colour I can see on my line of sight here is my yellow one and once again with the yellow one I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'm going to form a loop over the top of everything and then I'm going to go round the back but look I'm keeping the yellow one underneath the blue one and I'm going to go up through all the loops so the red loop, the blue loop, the yellow loop, and come up through there. And there we go. As you can see now, I've got my three colors used so far, and the only remaining color now is this green one here. And once again, with this green one, I'm going to form a loop like so, over the top, go around everything, and then bring it up through all the loops of all the other colors. And there we go. So now I'll just pull those up gently. Now, as you can see, I have got all my cords in what is essentially the Matthew Walker knot now, but it doesn't look anything like it. But the next thing that I'm going to do now, you see these colors here are all nicely in position. Just keep them like that and gently. Now, this is where a lot of people go wrong with the Matthew Walker knot you gently tease up all the colors to tighten it as you're going through. And gradually, that loop will become smaller and smaller for each one. 
And that's all the Matthew Walker knot is, is just gently teasing up. And you can gradually see here now, these are starting to spread apart a little bit. So allow them to spread, but gently pull up on each one. And just go around, pulling up, pulling up. And you can see here now, it's starting to form a nice shape. And just gently tease the loops themselves round, because what we're doing is we want to create a nice symmetrical pattern all the way around. And then just gently, gently pull up on each individual cord and slowly the Matthew Walker knot will fall in to place. Just gently tease them round like so, that's it. Teasing it round and you can see here now, we haven't fully completed yet, there's still gaps, but we're now starting to get a lovely symmetrical pattern in our work here. Okay, so just keep pulling it up like so. Just gently tease it round because we're looking for that spiral all the time. And you can pull harder as you're doing it, pull harder each time to pull that knot into place. And eventually, you'll see as you pull up, you will end up with a nice Matthew Walker knot in your cord here. There we go, almost there. Just a little bit more. And I just want to say if you like these video, please give me a thumbs up. If you hate my videos, give me a thumbs down. But please do comment and let me know, especially if you don't like it, let me know and tell me what's wrong and I can make some changes to make it better. And also the other thing I'd appreciate is if you could actually share it as well, if, other, if you think others may enjoy this. And you can see here now, there we go, Matthew Walker knot has now appeared in there. Now this does want tightening up a bit more. You want it really, really tight. And so basically what you're doing is you're getting your fit in there, pulling out any slack like so, and pulling out. But you can see where you've got your different colours ones, you know which one you've got to pull to tighten it up on. And there we go, in our knot, we've got a lovely Matthew Walker knot has appeared in there now. And so the whole idea of this is basically, I'd say the Matthew Walker knot is a transition knot. From this side here, we can go on and do another pattern. And here, we can also do another pattern in our rope work. And gradually, just make sure it's really nice and tight. Keep pulling it up. And as you pull it up, you will find that that knot becomes more and more defined and more and more symmetrical as you pull it up. And you'll see here now that as I pull it up and knead it into place and even roll it if you need to just to bring out that symmetrical pattern there to create our Matthew Walker knot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to untie that again and I'll show you just how to do that knot again. Right, so here we go again. It's all undone. Let's now go and tie it again. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it out in front of me nice and evenly the ends and then lay it out in front of me and approximately where I want the knot to be is where I'm going to actually grip all my cords. So the next thing I'm going to do is get all the cords in my hand like so and in this particular case now, well let's turn it round so there's no, let's go for, let's see, in this particular case the yellow cord, I can't remember what colour cord it was last time, anyway it doesn't matter. The yellow cord is my left most cord. So that's the first one I'm going to start with. And so to create this knot or start this off, I'm going to take the first one and form a loop like so. So it's basically going around underneath itself over. And then once I've done that, just pinch it with my fingers or thumb there, take it round the back of everything and pass it up through that loop that I've created there. And there we go. That's my first one created. Now the next one that I can see that's available to me is, okay, you can see the blue there, but the blue is actually, if I move that across slightly, the blue is behind it. So we don't want the blue one, we want that green one. The red one's to the right of that, so we don't want that either. So take the green one next, form a loop like we did the last time, and this time hold it in place with your thumb, but just underneath the yellow one that you did like so, then bring it all round the back, up through the yellow loop, up through the green loop, and then pull it up and then leave it like so. 
So there we go, we've got our second one done. The next color I can see that's available to me very easily is the red one here. And so all I'm gonna do is take the red one, fold it over like so, bring the leads round the back and pass it through the yellow and the green. So I just find that hole, there it is. Yellow and the green, and then just gently pull it up like so. And there we have it, we have our next color done. And then we've got our final color here, which is the blue one. And take the blue one, curl it round, keep it underneath the red one like so, round the back, up through all of the, hole, the holes or loops that we've created, and then just gently pull it up tight. And there we go, that is, in effect, the Matthew Walker knot done, but boy, isn't it messy, all right? And so the next thing that we need to do is we need to go around and tighten it all up. So all I do now is I just get hold of my work and I gently pull up on all my cords individually and take out all the slack. You see there's quite a bit of slack there in the red, just help it, a bit in the blue, just help it. Bring it round, take the green one and pull it through like so. Then finally the yellow one, pull it through and you're basically pulling up all the time and you can see here now that spiral pattern is starting to appear there. And if we just coax that blue one over a little bit more, coax the red one over so that it's evenly spaced and you can see here now that as now I can pull up even tighter on all of them and as I'm pulling up gradually that beautiful Matthew Walker knot is starting to appear in our work. Then go to the green one and to the yellow and just keep working your way around. Don't try and do it all at once massively. Try and keep it so that it's all nice and evenly spaced and gently tease it into position. And then as you do that, you will see then that you get a lovely spiral appearing in your work. And if you need to, you can go around with your fid and pull up even tighter, fid or marlin spike, and pull it up even tighter just to get that lovely spiral knot in position. And it wants to be really tight. I mean, at this, this stage here, this is quite slack. You see, they move very easily. You want it as hard as nails in there. And just keep doing it, keep pulling up, keep on teasing it. That's it. And then gradually, as you do that, you'll then see, okay, that could do with a bit more tightening, but you can now see here that we've got a lovely spiral Matthew Walker knot has appeared in there. And it, all it needs is, you see, if I go here, you can see now here, I can get my fit under there and I can pull loads more through. And that's all I'm gonna do is just keep on going around, tightening, 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 until it becomes really, really tight, and there you go. And also the other thing is, if you say, for example, want to adjust this knot, say for example, this knot here at the moment is too high up, we want it to bring it down this way a bit, all we've got to do is just gently feed our cord through, so I can take hold of the green here now, and you can see, as I pull up on the top there, we're pulling the cord at the bottom. I can then go ahead and pull some more green through like that. And gradually you can slide that knot into the exact position that you want to do it. And just keep pulling up on everything until it's really, really tight. And we end up with a really nice Matthew Walker knot. Now the problem I'm gonna have with this particular knot is because I'm using really massive chunky cord, it's gonna take a lot to tighten this up and it's a really slippery cord as well. But it was just for demonstration purposes. So there we go, we now have in place our, um, I forgot the name of the knot, it's our Matthew Walker knot. And then here, if you see here, this is one I've done on, let's just move that out of the way a bit. This is one of the handle of my ditty bag. It's quite old, this one now, but you can see here, I've got a Matthew Walker knot. Basically, the transition is the lines of my ditty bag 
transition into a Matthew Walker knot and then from once I've created the Matthew Walker knot in there I've done continuous crowning up my handle here and so basically that Matthew Walker knot is that there and that is using one two three four five six seven eight strands so that is an eight strand Matthew Walker knot you can use as many strands as you want I believe someone did some with you know about 500 strands but I wouldn't want to do that because that'd be a little bit of nightmare effort okay so there we go that is the Matthew Walker knot tied in colored rope just to make it a little bit easier to follow but you can see the thing here it does need tightening up a lot more there's a lot of slack in there still and as I pull it up it will really lock into place and that is as hard as nails in there once it's knocked into place okay so once again Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this weird video, please thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down, please tell me why. And also, be really appreciative if you could share this video so that we spread it further for others to watch. Okay, so thank you very much, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.